Hello and welcome and well today we've got the new battle system bulletin which is looking at rule changes and things they're going to look at via the um, feedback of the beta codex back in the chapter approved 2018 which is a good thing because this is literally what a beta is meant to be it's meant to be feedback so they can improve it and First of the best feedbacks I've heard is that the acts of faith are no longer going to be based on a dice roll. Well, I've been looking at it not being, you know, looking at it because that was the big complaint that it was based on a dice roll and it may have not had the impact that it needed. Now, me, personally, I would have liked them to do what they did with the Abductus Mechanicus and the Canticles of, of the Omnisire. And that is, you can choose or roll. Which is, to me, a much, much better idea. And I think that's going to be... Would, so, like, if you're in a tight situation, you're like, shit, I need to do this, and you just pick the act of faith and you do it. Where, But you can't pick the same one twice. Or you can choose to roll it. And, of course, you need a faith test as well, which is kind of annoying as well. Which, I mean, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. The next one is the Exorcist Missile Launcher, which has an absolutely gnarly fucking stat line. Range 48, heavy D6, strength 8, minus 4 AP, and D6 damage. Right. The problem with this one was its uh, damage. It was, again, dice rolls. You, if you had a low number of attack uh, shots and a low number of damage, you could end up fucking it right up. If you just if you fail your dice rolls because there's nothing there to really um, defend you know help you you, you could end up it, it just being a brick on your battle in your army and honestly I think it should either be heavy d6 with a stat damage of about three or d6 damage and a you know a, a six uh, heavy six shots whichever it's got to be one or the other of those two I reckon right and the last one is the Celestian scrolls. Yeah, let's look squads. Celestian squads, exactly. And even though they can be equipped with a selection of war powerful war game, your collective feedback made it clear they struggled to compete with other elite choices in the army. The plan, okay, so basically they reckon there's issues with it. Or just basically them being an elite. I always actually had this problem with Celestian squads because they never seem too much of elite anyway. I mean, you can uh, equip a battle system squad just as well. You know, Squad of Five can have a heavy weapon, so I wonder what they were going to do with this. Uh, they're going to add a thematic ability or two, as lessons to help them have more of an impact on the battlefield without sacrificing their role as small guardians of their order. After all, just because Celestians are protected first and foremost doesn't mean they can't dish out some serious pain. Um, so basically, it looks like they're going to, you know, add some extra rules to them just so they can be better you know and it sounds like a good idea i like what way they're going basically um not having a sister of faith so dependent on dice rolls which would be great i i hate using anything which has a dice roll i i'm not a fan of random events on the table i like to make sure i can you know control it as much as possible because you know a bad dice roll didn't fuck anything up and they want to improve uh, the Celestian Squad, which I think needs is improving since uh, third edition. Um, it was the only one I, I never took Celestian Squads. I took Seraphim and I took Battle Sisters and I took uh, a penalty to that engine and vehicles. And I'd never saw a point of Ces uh, Celestian Squad. It was too many points and it was just not worth it in the long run. Anyway, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more videos. Of course, I will read your comments if there's any left in the comment section next video and have a good day.